Hello, 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 hello. Hi, my name is Linda Murray Bullard. They call me the business plug. And so this evening, you have me on the business plugs mixer. We're going to be talking about the flashes. Like women, lean close. If you are experiencing or you know someone who is experiencing or you a guy and your special other is experiencing the flashes. We're going to talk about the flashes. But before we get to that, two things. I need to tell you that my next cohort starts on Saturday. So if you have a business idea and you've been wanting to know how to start a successful and viable business, we are going to actually start the cohort. It's a 12-week, yes, 90-day, where we're teaching you the business side of owning your business. Now, this course is $500, but let me tell you, before you say, oh, that's high, it includes a business plan. Like if you know how much business plans cost, you'll know that $500 for a business plan and a business course is not a bad price at all because that business plan is going to enable you to get thousands. So that's what we're doing. And so in order to enroll, you want to have your orientation. This is the final week because it class starts Saturday. So go ahead and click the link that's in the discussion wherever you're watching this video. If you're on Facebook, if you're on LinkedIn, if you're on YouTube, there is a link to the course that starts on Saturday. How it works is you click the link, you schedule a date, you pay $50 to hold your seat. That uh, date will be when you and I actually meet and we'll talk about your business, your aspirations, what are you, where you are and where you want to go. Because my whole goal in this is to help your business succeed. You can go to google.com and look under LSMB Business Solutions, the name of the business that's up above. Go look and see what the 93, no, 94 now, people say about the courses and classes and the things we do in helping to empower small businesses throughout the United States. It's an online course, Saturday mornings, 10 to 1 p.m. Eastern time, right? 10 to 1 p.m. Eastern time. And I know my, my West Coast people, that is like seven. <laughs> that is like seven for you. But I have had West Coast people to join us. And, you know, they, they make that sacrifice, right? And so they get up and they join us. We have a, a wonderful class. You'll get to meet people speaking who are already in business, teaching you the shortcuts. But at the end, once you've done all the coursework, you have a submittable business plan ready for you to use. So that's the thing. If you would like to be a guest on the Business Plugs Mixer, there's also a link in the discussion for that. So those are the two housekeeping things I needed to do. Now we're ready to introduce our guest. So hello, Shalice. Say hello. Tell us about you. Wow. I'm not, that's interesting you, to start out, you know, whenever someone says, tell me about your show. <laughs> um, and it's, it's, so I always want to separate the self from what I do, but I'll tell you what I do. Okay. Okay. So I am the founder and CEO of Freer Jewelry. And what we do is we create wearable um, devices that have cooling technology. Mm. And, uh, and the goal is for us to master those hot flashes, right? Absolutely. How do we address them in a way that is organic, that does not have, uh, that is non-invasive and non-medicinal and still allows you to maintain your dignity and discretion. Like those hot flashes are disrespectful and miserable, Absolutely. but everybody doesn't need to know that you're having them. So that's what we're doing. I love it. I love it. And I went to see you. Do you have one on to show us? I do. I love, love, love. And so that right there, I went, it's, it's attractive too. Like it's like it's trendy, right? So it's not like people know what you're doing. It looks like you have a bracelet on or a watch or something. And all well, that's the that's is, the goal. A pretty bracelet, you know. Yeah. Uh, we call it a beautiful way to beat the heat um, <laughs> because it's just the the goal here was for it to be a fashion accessory as opposed to a device, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, there, we, there are lots of wearables on the market, and there are some that do exactly what mine does. Only mine is hydropowered, which means you don't have to charge it. It just requires water mm. to activate and everything else is electronic. So at least with me, you're just going to have something that goes with your fashionable. <laughs> I 
like your outfit. Uh, won't <laughs> expose you to any more electromagnetic fields. Exactly. It won't harm the environment in any way. It literally just requires cold water to activate. Cold water to activate. So how did you get here? So tell us about Shalisa before we got to here. Well, Shalisa, before we got to here, had nothing to do with jewelry or science or biology or engineering. Um, Shalisa is a professional communicator. Okay. So that's what I do. I'm a professional writer uh, and have been for over 30 something years. Um, and I write, you know, for corporate or for events. I write speeches and scripts and things like that. Okay. But that stuff is like watching paint dry, considering what I do now. Um, the, uh, and I also teach. Um, so I'm an adjunct at NYU. Um, so I actually had a totally different career. However, I don't. I believe that God gives us multiple gifts, right? Uh -huh. And it's up to you to manifest them. You know, we get real get caught up in this is what you do and it's all that you can do. But that's not true. Like yeah. none of us are singularly gifted to is the way I think of it. So I like solving problems. So that's how we got here. Okay. Um, hot flashes are a problem <laughs> yes. and they are and they yes. just miserable, like I said. And because of that, um, when I first entered that life stage with absolutely no knowledge on what to do or how to manage it, um, it was feeling lost for a minute. You know, uh, when you talk about this stage of life, midlife, it's a taboo subject for us women, primarily because it's associated with aging, right? And we are all about anti-aging. <laughs> <laughs> but... The truth is, if you get the benefit, if you get the blessing to actually do so um, gracefully, there's going to mm -hmm. be some challenges and That's those cool. challenges are uncomfortable. So my goal here, um, once I learned what I was going through, where this miserable heat was coming from, um, I was like, well, what was available and on the market was inadequate. Mm. And I that we that there are millions of us there are a billion women around the world who are going through this what works for one may not work for another so right. i think that the market is ripe for options to that we can explore to see what works for us Absolutely. i decided i didn't want to wear anything that looked like a prison bracelet i wasn't walking around with like a giant fan around my <laughs> neck i didn't want to give away any secret about what i was going through i just wanted to manage the misery and be able to like, you know, just decrease the intensity. And if yeah. you know anything about your body's cooling zones, uh, where you wear jewelry, your wrists, your neck, um, those are primary cooling zones on your body. So if you put anything cold, colder than you next to them, they cool the blood down as it goes by and, you know, give you a sense of relief. I, I just it. put it in a pretty bracelet. I love it. I love it. And, and the thing about it is yours is organic. Like all it needs Fair. is drops of water. That's it. All it needs is drops of water. And I love on your site, and I, I'm glad that you have your website listed there so they can go and check it. But on your site, it actually shows how it works. And yes. so by doing that, like anybody, it, it's not hard. Like anybody could could you wear one of the braces and it's an option. Because I have I've had friends to go and get pellets under their, their skin. I've had people <laughs> drink soy water and all kinds. They've been doing it. <laughs> Because we come up with a lot of things, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. And we I do will, understand. Yeah, we will figure out something. <laughs> but don't we deserve, I think, as a nation of women, as a group of women, we are we deserve to have something simple. Yes. And beautiful. Yeah. And non-invasive. And, and that lifts us up like when you're going through it you know your body's changing you know your situation is changing so many things are transitioning and you, one less thing to worry about like i just wanted to take the edge off the heat and i wanted to do it in a way that was discreet and on top of that what i what you know what we created it works whether you flash it or not like if you're in a hot climate if you're just outside in the heat if you just overheat naturally it works for that too but I was really trying to serve 
the community of women who are at wit's end about what to do and how to do it and how to and how to maintain. I mean, you know, if you're in the corporate world, you definitely not trying to bring attention to yourself because you don't want labeling you in a negative way. Exactly. Um, so if you wear a device, everybody know it looks like a device. But if you wear yeah. a pretty bracelet, hey, it's a pretty bracelet. Exactly. And, and you know, I can remember when I worked in corporate. And some of my friends, because I wasn't flashing back then, and some of my friends would be sitting there and it looked like somebody just dumped water over. And they were like, I am so embarrassed because like the whole, I mean, just wet, just matted, you know, with water and things. And I was just thinking about how wonderful it would be. That's a wonderful gift. Like mm-hmm. we're still in Mother's Day season, right? But that's a, that is a wonderful gift for a mom to try out. Like this is, so this whole series of interviews is called the million dollar business idea, right? And this oh, is like okay. how you took a problem that you were incurring and you made it into a whole business. Yeah. But I did it as more of an act of service. See, um, I love I love to explain because the teacher in me always wants to provide information. And I felt yeah. like when I was going through it, I didn't have any information because, you know, when I started interviewing women about what they knew about this life stage and menopause, 99% of them said nothing. (laughs) What did your mother tell you? Nothing. Nothing. And she didn't go through it. Right. So you, could you imagine? I was like, what, what in the holy goodness (laughs) is going on here that nobody wants to talk about it except for in like little hush hush circles. So my first order of business was, I want to create a platform that provides education, right? Yeah. Like we need a place that's safe where we can get, you know, accurate, knowledgeable information on like what we're going through, how to deal with it, what questions we need to ask. So we've been building on that part and we actually have started, um, you know, creating um, workshops that we can do in corporate environments or, you know, organizations to help create femme friendly environments so that, yeah. you know, the, the people in the, in that circle or in that workplace or in that organization understand normal biological functions actually do uh, <laughs> adversely affect us. Yeah. But if there's a little bit of empathy for that person who can't help it, like you can't help when your body decides it's transition <laughs> time. If we could have an opportunity to find a way to create information so that everyone's educated, you might automatically generate empathy in that. And then that's a way to say, hey, we're going to find ways to accommodate the women in our organizations who might be going through this because they are valuable contributors. We want them to be able to contribute without feeling diminished in any way. So we started that. So that's the education aspect of it. Community is the second part because you need to know you're not the only one that's going through this, right? And that always makes you feel better because when I first started, considering nobody's mother told them anything, my mom never told me anything. My grandmother never told me anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, So since we were all in this state of ignorance, then creating community allows us to share best practices together. Yeah, or or support each other. And then the product was like, what can I do to help us? beat this heat because I have definitely been in the middle of a class. I got sweat pouring down my face and my arms. And I'd be asking my students, like, what was I talking about? Like, I don't know what I was talking about. Because like, it's distracting. Because it's distracting. I mean, it just totally takes you to another place, right? Right. Concentration right. becomes like, ugh. Yeah. And, and so as we age, and, and like you said, I mean, there's only one way to not age. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's only one way. And so as women age, it is common that we have chemical biological changes that right. go with that. And right. I don't I don't really because I look I mean, I am 63 and they tell me I don't look like it. So for us, I'm like, right. age is not a thing. <laughs> you know? Nobody believes I'm I'm almost 60 either. Every yeah. time people talk to me, they never think that they're like, you're in menopause. You're you know, they think my grandkids are my kids. And I'm like, nope, the, the adults <laughs> that they made these little people. Those are my kids. Absolutely. These are the ones I get to play with and give back. Give so- back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These are the ones I get to have fun with. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, absolutely. Because my son just turned 49 Friday. And so, yeah, so happy birthday, Chief. Um, And so, you know, people are like, what? 
what? Because most people think he's my brother. And no, he's mine. But yeah, but but we we are part of team don't, don't crack. And I'm glad. So it's not really a problem. You know, I'm not forever trying to find anti-aging things, right. but I am trying to find things that make aging more comfortable. Yes. That's the goal. It should be more comfortable. And we are in 2023. Women have been around since the beginning. Okay. So yeah, there can. is absolutely no reason why medical science should not already have, you know, options for us that are that are medicinal and non-medicinal, right? right. There should be, because our bodies shouldn't still be a mystery. Or when you talk about women's reproductive health in, it, in general, it becomes controversial, yeah, but it's also yeah. a taboo. Like when you get your menses, what happens? You start being admonished about what not to do, right? Some In, in some countries you're considered unclean. Exactly. That is ridiculous. Exactly. It's a normal biological function of transitioning from, you know, from being a, a girl to, you know, adolescent. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. And then when you go to, through motherhood, what happens then? Oh, now you got a mom vibe. Now you just a mom. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. And, and so now you you're no longer woman vibrant a desirable you're a mom and yeah. there is kind of, there's a box for that and then when it's time for to end childbirth or the ability to bear children now you dried up so what <laughs> aspect of our biological life is positive and so we have to change that narrative mm -hmm. and that is really something that i'm committed to through this and you know endeavor but just in general because i just believe that women especially when you get to this age you got so much more confidence than you had before yeah and you feel so much more powerful you maybe you trust yourself a little bit more academically and professionally um you really you know might be intimidated or self-conscious about the changes your body's going through but people should not mess with you so i think that we should have an easier way absolutely and, and here's where the knowledge come right so this is where we get to talk to our younger selves like yes. and the, and the, the people coming behind us and kind of forewarn them of some ops, some some potholes that they could dive into that we've been through and they could learn from right so we become the wisdom and when is that bad like I, I, the I don't whole, see uh, anything bad about it <laughs> I, I have been forever trying to figure out like in most of the species the male is the one that needs to strut and show himself worthy and and primp and and do all these things if you look at like the birds the blue bird and the red birds they're the males are the vibrant colors the the animals. peacocks too peacocks yeah. too yeah. the ones with the, the plumes and the colors yeah. those are all males the women the women are always white or gray, <laughs> or Some gray yeah. color, right yeah. but the men are always trying to attract them right. and so the men are, are the ones that are trying to be more noticeable in the human species, it's the total opposite. In the human species, it's the woman is the. <laughs> we have to be the on one. It's, it's, and it's unfortunate and it's unfair. But I still say women are very powerful. Absolutely. And if we understood the magnitude of our power, we would really be able to change a lot um, of things that happen. But the first thing you have to do is empower yourself to have the narrative around your body and your health yes. because nobody else can tell you what it's like to go through um, amenses and right. cramps or anything that goes with it or to go through pregnancy and childbirth or to go through end of childbearing other than us like we are the only ones who can do that because we are the ones who experience it firsthand and so you have a right and a duty to yourself to own the narrative about what's going on with you and Absolutely. we really have to take that narrative back and stop letting other people dictate to us what's going on i'm like you go through 10 months of pregnancy my, my baby was late right he was, Mine was too. my first one was three weeks late and i thought i was like gonna be pregnant forever so <laughs> you tell me what that's like to be carrying that extra 25 pounds where your back hurt and your sides hurt you can't sleep on your anything because you know i would sleep on my back and all of a sudden i can't breathe yeah like, you tell me what that's like and you haven't gone through it women have to own their own narrative and i hope 
that just what, what, what I'm doing and what so many other people are doing is going to actually spur that on and really let us take that on. I like that. And I like that because who, you know, all the research, all the medical science before used to be about a particular sector of people. And mm -hmm. it, it, it just neglected everybody else. You know, even when they were talking about heart disease, which is a killer for us and how right. they talked about, you know, what would happen to us. And we were like, wait, that, that doesn't occur to us. We're totally different from that. And they had to go back and rewrite medical terminology to say, oh, no, for women, you know, they feel it in their neck. They feel it on the other side, or, you know. Right, right. Because for years, medical science said, if you have a heart attack, these are the things that happen. And it wasn't based on women. <laughs> wasn't based on us at all and does that, is that logical like that is that, that is just the most illogical craziness to me and just every time we're talking about medical science and advances the fact that this is still anything about us is still mysterious i know or it's so clinical it doesn't have practical application or knowledge then we are responsible for providing that so that there can be new innovations that help us to manage this misery. There can be ways for us to, you know, be dignified and discreet and ourselves and not feel like, you know, we have to alter our biology. So, so for some women, you know, a hormone replacement, it works for them, right? And Absolutely. they really love it. Yeah. But I personally didn't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to delay this. If this is something that my body needs to go through, let's let go it go through it. Yeah, let's go it through it and teach you how to make it comfortable. Absolutely. Yes, teach you exactly. how to make it comfortable and let's just get it done. Exactly. <laughs> you know, because what they found is, you know, all the hormone replacement came with, you know, side, side effects. effects. Right. And, and so, the side effects were worse than hot flashes. Well, when you hear, <laughs> anytime you hear those drugs and they go, these side effects include thoughts of suicide. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I just be like, I'm not even sure that should be an option because none of that side effects sounds like it's better than what I'm going through. So I just feel like, let me just honor the temple. I think that your body is a temple. So I'm going to honor the temple and just take care of her, allow her to endure what she's supposed to endure, be grateful that I even got to this age and then just help other women do the same. Like that's, so it's for me, it really is an act of service. Like how I can it. I help? other women feel better about themselves during this time. I love it. See, my mom passed at 33, so she mm. didn't endure any of that. She was still in her childbearing years. Right. You know, so we, and then her mother passed long before that when she was 16. So wow. I didn't have that female conversation. And so I've pretty much learned different things as older women would talk to me. Right. And then sometimes, sometimes older women can give us misinformation which is worse than no information at all. You know, we were having this conversation at church today. Me and some of the ladies were talking about, you know, our education when we became teens, how mm. that conversation went and how we were like, hmm, we, it, was mis it was misinformation. And because of that, we made poor choices, not even realizing that the information was flawed. And, so, and it was just being passed down, right? Like absolutely. they was passing down in a flawed information. That's exactly what it was. That's exactly what it was. And we talked about the deck that today how it has impacted our lives because misinformation is just as bad as no information at all. And so now that we're learning more about our bodies and we're learning more about science and we're learning how things work, and now we have creators like you, ma'am, who <laughs> are making inventions to make it better for us then we need to use those and, and take heed and go to the site and learn all we can and start educating, re-educating the women in our circles to get the I hope to see that. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's an uphill climb when you have something that's new and people aren't familiar with it. You know, my technology is hydropower and they're like, how is that tech? You know, because we're so conditioned to think of charging. Yeah. Um, but we use evaporative cooling. So we repurpose evaporative cooling. It's typically industrially used and we use it to cool people. So now that's a whole different education yeah. right there. So it's not like, this is not an easy climb. It's not something, but I believe that 
once it I have greater knowledge or there's more saturation of knowledge around the tech and around the pain point, around the remedies and around your options that, you know, we'll be able to impact a lot more. People. Absolutely. I, I truly think you will. I truly think you will because it is not adding something to the body. Like right. it's not, it's not going to make that. Right. 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 So you don't have to have that. Dis <laughs> you no, no disclaimers here. There's, not, you, there's, no, yeah, there's no side effects and nothing's going, you're not going to have suicidal thoughts unless the heat just is just killing you already. But um, you're, you're not going to have that. You're not going to have irregular, like, you know, things going on with your digestive system and heart palpitations. None of that is going to occur if I put a little water on this. <laughs> you put a little water. So we, we put water on us daily. And so yes, therefore, water yes. has proven to not be so bad. Now, exactly. there's some soaps that you might use that may have an effect. But the water itself, the natural water, is good for you. It's so. safer. The goal was safer. The goal was uh, minimum impact on the environment. So I don't call us green, but I do call us conscious mm. of you know, the way we create anything and how it's going to impact not just the people, but the world around us, because we should be mindful or thoughtful about that. And so that really went into the whole concept of what we're trying to do. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your yes. Thank you for coming on and educating mm -hmm. us and showing us some relief. Like this is one for the sisters, all the sisters, <laughs> you know, from everywhere that this video, share this with your friends, put it in their messenger, in their inbox. Like let your friends know that there's another option to what we're going through to help us to age gracefully. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's a blessing, right? It's a blessing. I always yeah. say that to be, have that opportunity to get to this age and we should share Absolutely. our wisdom. We should share our knowledge and we definitely should share remedies that work. <laughs> 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 I totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah. So thank you. So in, in closing, give us your parting remarks. What do you want our people, the viewers, to take away from this interview? Um, I would say more importantly, know yourself, right? Understand that your body is not a mystery and you have a right to have agency over it. There are options and we should have a right to be able to explore those, but they have to be made known to you, right? So I'm hoping that people are willing to learn more about those options, to be willing to try them, to go think outside the box. Um, everything uh, that's available, you know, might one might work for one person, one might work for the next person. But I just want people to keep an open mind because your comfort can mean the difference between how you operate optimally in your life and how you feel maybe not yourself. And mm. I just want everybody to operate optimally. I love that. I absolutely love that. Well, thank you again for joining us on the Business Plugs Mixer. My name is Linda Murray Bullard. They call me the Business Plug. And tonight I have plugged you in on how to get, can we see that again, ma'am? So we can you see the bracelet. Can, you can see it. Absolutely. So and all of your guests, if they just, if they do inter are interested in making a purchase, if they just put in the code, thank you 15, they'll get 15% off. I like that. And I'm going to put that, that, uh, thank you. 15. Yeah. Just 15. thank you 15. Okay. They can get 15% off. And that's off. the code. Yes. Ooh, putting it right there right now. But thank you for that. That's an added bonus for them watching. So yeah, so thank you for that. I put it on on our uh, in the chat for them to get it. And so you have a great rest of your week. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you all next week on the Business Plus Mixer, where we have business conversations on business topics for business people. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you to your audience. Have a 